What or who is the scrap beak? Despite the fact that the scrap beak loves birds and the birds are also drawn to him. He is a collector. A collector especially for scrap. There is even more twisted and darker story that lurks in the shadows. Today we're looking under the mask of the bird yet not catalogued by man. The name. Quote. Those who have faced Scrapbeak in combat place great emphasis on his behavior. The piercing pain-ridden holes, the obsession with birds, and the hoarding of scrap and other objects, both morbid and banal. It is these hunters who gave him the name that become parlays. Researchers note, the lore hunter himself wrote a really helpful article in his bestiary. He thought that the Scrapbeak had a mask that he fashioned from the scavenged detritus. But it isn't a mask. The mask is fused with the bone of the skull, making it a part of him. Quote, the section reveals that the periphery of the beak structure is fused with the bone of the skull. Through the mandibles and the surrounding musculature are curiously positioned, non-functional and show extensive scarring. Sounds pretty painful, isn't it? That's what the researcher also asked himself. Who did this? Because the scrap beak wouldn't be able to do it himself, probably. A physician under the influence of the corruption probably the sculpture himself you will hear more about the entity we call the sculpture when we dive deeper into the lore of hunt showdown also a very interesting fact is that the birds arrive before the creature but we don't know if the birds wander with the scrap beak or if the creature follows the birds is the scrap beak really a bird or is he a corrupted and transformed human being the researcher also found something hinting about the true form, the true history behind that howling violent individual. Quote, a trial has caught my attention. A man named Avis Windham, accused of killing his peaceful bird-loving father and several dozen others. The corruption of Avis Windham. There was a conversation between the defendant, who's also our main suspicion, and his attorney, Charles Berg. Transcripted by Mary May Sterling. Thank you so much, Mary May. We find out that the defendant, Avis Windham Jr., isn't actively involved in the murders. Yes, actively, but passively, he's not looking that great. Quote, I reckon showing them where he's hiding. Just the same as selling somebody a gun. Ain't no harm in it. Ain't illegal. Ain't me pulled any triggers. Huh. So we know that he knows where the creature hides and selling it out to the hunters. Well, I see. Ain't not you pulling the trigger, son. But what about his father? We need to start at the beginning. Quote, Papa lost the first leg in the war, the arm in what comes after, and the other leg, well, that's another story. As we know, Scrapbeak is missing some of his limbs and loves birds. I think we got a new suspect in suspicion. He also worked as Ragman, collecting broken old pots and pans and scraps and rags and things. Quote, seemed the more broken something was, the more he liked it. He also didn't care about his son. His wife and him only married because she was pregnant. His wife also passed away, but we can't find any information when or how. Probably because of a sickness, probably the flu. Quote, Papa was a nice man, a quiet man, a peaceful man. The neighbors all agreed, but they don't know what happened in that house in the dark hours. Ain't none of them known what he really like, did they? Well, they gonna find out now. The only thing he seems to care about were his birds and his wrecks. He held the birds in a wooden cage and drove them around in his old car to gather scraps. Someday, Avis Jr. couldn't control his rage about his father and it overwhelmed him. He cracked. He cracked his father's bird's necks while he was asleep and he left them there for his father to find. Quote, Papa said, ain't no good man ever harm an innocent little bird, Avis. What did he know? There ain't no good man. Not me. Not you, and most certainly, not Papa. But what happens after? Quote, People said that he was a good man for what he done fighting in that war. But it's complicated. No matter what side you're fighting for, war is always a deal with the devil. And you don't come out of a deal with the devil like you were before. 
there's no winners. There's just more cracks opened up in the world for the devil to come through. Daddy cracked and the devil come through him. Daddy cracked and brought the devil right into our house, into me. And so I brought the devil back to him. What does that mean? It means that the war could crack the world so that the bayou, sickness and the sculpture came through. It cracked the wall between our world and theirs. Avis Windham Sr, corrupted by the wall, tried to live his life, tried to be happy with his birds and his scrap. But the corruption inside him grew. It grew so that he let the devil devour him. He let the sickness incite him. After he saw his dead beloved birds, his walls shattered and the corruption won. It's unknown if Junior killed him or knocked him out and bought his soul free, bringing him to the sculpture or if his father walked away, away towards the sculpture himself because Avis Wyndham Sr. was no more to become the thing he so adored. A bird scavenging scraps. The scrap beak. Quote. A lot of people mistaken quiet for peaceful. Daddy made that mistake. He ain't quiet now. Is he? Big mouth like that. No. He sure ain't quiet now. Ah!